for. They were most likely forgotten about, left in somebody's attic, and the polyurethane parts on these shoes turned to literal dust. You may be thinking, why did I buy these crusty shoes? This is one of the first Jordans to re-release, and this is a very iconic and classic colorway. Unfortunately, every Jordan 3 has these back tabs that crack and fall apart over time. But the good thing is, these are replaceable along with the midsoles. I start by unstitching the toe cap. This makes prep work go smooth. I then use a heat gun to warm up any old glue and midsole residue. If you get hungry watching this, I don't blame you. My fat ass thinks it looks like cake and frosting. I do the same process to the outsole, and it comes off like butter. If you're a Gen Zer, don't get your hopes up. You can't eat this. We all remember the Tide Pods. The outsoles were not yellowed, but they were just dirty, and I hate dirty shoes, so CCK Soul Sauce, you know the deal, it reverses yellowing and penetrates dirt if you leave it in the sun. I left them out in the sun for about an hour, and it's time to clean them. Here I'm using Dawn Dish Soap, it works extremely well in your soles, don't be scared to use it, and I'm using a wire brush, because that's what works. You may be thinking, what's the point of cleaning the soles? These aren't white girl Air Force Ones, so they need to look clean. Right here I'm going to prep the glue line, I'm using acetone so I can get up the residual midsole and the glue. You want a clean surface before you re-glue. These are custom aftermarket 1994 back tabs, you can get these off of J Psychologist or Red Inside on Instagram. These replacement midsoles are from a 2018 pair of Jordan Legacy 312s, they'll last me quite a while. Uh, here I'm trying to test to see how they fit and just as I thought I ran into fitment issues new midsoles have a different mold So I have to result in using my dremel to hope that I can get it to fit It's a tedious process, but there's no way I can get the rubber soles to line up if I don't do this now It's time to remove the old paint on the midsole I used acetone in a cotton ball and fortunately it came off pretty quick now after all that work I put into this midsole. I'm hoping that it will fit properly I'm happy because it fits near perfect now. It's time to install my back tab I have to cut the stitching because there's some parts of the tab that's stuck underneath the elephant print Next step is gluing. This is Bart Cement Infinity, and you want to hit every spot where you can make a contact. Let it cure for about five minutes, and then you stick it right on. This glue is made for plastics and vinyl, so it works extremely well with shoes. Now I glue the outsole to the midsole. You can see that shaving it really helped. It fit almost perfect. I have to stitch the toe cap back together, but I just made a bunch of fake ones. It's too much work to actually stitch it in the shoe. Yeah, I cut corners. Fight me. Now this is the most important step right here. I'm gluing the upper to the midsole. You want to make sure that it's not crooked when you install it. You also want to ensure that it adheres properly so you don't get any separations. So far so good, and now the last step is to paint. I'm using Angelus Leather Paint. This is perfect for midsoles. I like to paint last because the wet glue can discolor the paint. Now this was a really big project for a pretty special pair of shoes, so I'm really glad that I finished it because the shoes look clean. Who would have thought that those crusty ass shoes from the beginning look like this now? And a top